Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Chodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as Adam and Eve took on the philosophies, not uh, eating an apple. All right. Adam and Eve took on the philosophies, not eating an apple. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And uh, we're going to start in Genesis uh three and six but matter of fact we're gonna go up a couple of notches i should have went up to verse uh i'm gonna read up to verse one and then we're gonna go all the way down to verse six all right because you got people they they don't understand that so this is um genesis three and three and one lord willingness that's edifying genesis three and one it says now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field now that word serpent, it can mean cattle or it can mean actual uh, person, all right? That's like the scriptures say, uh, brute beasts, right? So that, that beast, it can mean a cattle or it can mean a person. In this scripture, that serpent was an actual person. And we're going to prove that too real quick. So we're going to defy that word um, uh, serpent, right? Serpent. All right. It says serpent, a sly or treacherous person. See, a treacherous person. And we look up the meaning of that word treacherous. Treacherous. It says a guilty or a guilty of or involving betrayal or deception. And that's what the serpent was. The serpent was an actual man. And it was Esau in that time. That's what the serpent was. All right. So that serpent, it was not a snake. It was an actual person. And it was Esau in that time. He had melanin. All right. So it says now the serpent. So that serpent was a, was a person. It was Esau. He had melanin in though. So that serpent was was a was an actual person, was a man. It says now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. A beast, again, it can mean an animal, it can be a cattle or a person, and it's a person, brute beast. It says, is it says, than any beast of the field which the Lord power had made. It says, and he said unto the woman, right? And this is what the serpent, which was a man, he said unto the woman, which was Eve. All right. The serpent beguiled Eve. Right. And remember, we went into the meaning of that word serpent. It says deception, guilty of or Im impressive uh, 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 deception. All right. It says he said unto the woman, yea, have the most high said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the tree is symbolic for people. All right. These were uh, men. All right. And it's talking about the philosophies. That's what it was talking about. It wasn't talking about an actual tree of an apple and you're picking something off of the tree and eating it. That's not what that is talking about. It wasn't talking about fruit. It wasn't talking about pears and apples and and, 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 uh, and uh, peaches, right? And plums. It wasn't talking about that. Because in that case, why wasn't that put in the laws? The scriptures would have said, thou shalt not eat apples. Thou shalt not eat pears. That's not in the scriptures. That's nowhere in the scriptures. Trust me, if, if 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 it was against the law, if it was against the scriptures to eat fruit, wouldn't the Lord would have put it in the law of Moses? Why do you think the Lord put "Thou shalt not kill his, kill thy brother"? Because Cain and Abel, Cain kill uh, Cain kill Abel, right? The Lord made it a law, right? He would have did that if if that was the case, but that's not the case. So it says, "Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden," and the trees is even meaning people. All right, and we're gonna prove that when we go to Mark eight and twenty four. This is Genesis 3 and 2. It says, and the woman said unto the serpent. So the woman said unto the man. All right. That that deception of that man. Right. It says, and the woman said unto the, unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Right. So remember, stay tuned into that word uh, tree there. Because the tree is the tree there. That word tree is talking about people. This is uh, Genesis 3 and 3. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, 
right? The tree. Remember that word tree? It says, it says, the most high have said, ye shall not eat of it, right? It says, Allah has said, ye shall not eat of it. It says, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. It's not talking about a, a fucking pear, an apple. It's not talking about that. Verse 4, and the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die, right? He deceived, beguiled Eve and, and deceived her. And he gave her the philosophies. And we're going to prove that. This is Genesis 3 and 5. For, for the Most High doeth know. It says, For the Most High doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. All right? And what was the good and evil? It was talking about the philosophies. All right? Verse 3 and 6. Uh, this is Genesis 3 and 6. And when the woman saw that the tree... Right. Remember that word tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tr and a tree to be desired to make one wise. How are you going to get how are you going to get wise? You can't get wise eating an apple. It's common sense. You got to think you got to really look at it. It says she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her. And he did eat. And that was the philosophies. Now we're going to prove that. This is Mark 8 and 24. So remember, we read trees there like four fucking times. All right. Mark 8 and 24. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. So those tree, that tree that Eve seen, those trees of the garden that the serpent was telling her were the philosophies of men, of men. All right. They took on, she took on the philosophies of men and gave it on to Adam. Adam took on those philosophies. Right. Verse, it says Mark 8 and 24 and he looked up and said I see men as trees walking see those those trees were men this is why you got to understand the scriptures Hosea 10 and 13 for a precept for that proven that they took on the philosophies it says this Hosea 10 and 13 it says ye have plowed wickedness and what is plow when you plow something let's get it up let's get let's get let's get let's look that up plow it's Plow. It says plow a large farming and planting with one or more blades fixed in a frame drawn by a tractor or by animals and it says and used for cutting salakia folds in the soil and turning it over especially to prepare for the planting of seeds right because when you plow something you're planting something when you plow it you plant it it's the same thing with with uh, reading different books. This is why when we read scriptures, you know, when we read books, we read things that that uh, uh, goes into secular history with with the scriptures, which is totally fine. You know, we, we read other books. We read books that uh, uh, that that again, that correlate to the scriptures. We don't read Book of Enoch and all them other books because those books are contrary to the scriptures. Those are Roman Catholic books. Those are those were made up books. There is no Book of Enoch that's made up. That's made up. So when you plow wickedness, you're planting something. You're planting wickedness. If you take on philosophies, you're planting forbidden fruit. When you take on philosophies and false doctrines, you're planting forbidden fruit. That's what you're planting. You're plowing. You're plowing, you're plowing a forbidden fruit. And taking on philosophies and teaching false doctrines, that's forbidden fruit. See, we're taking on righteous fruit because we're teaching the 100% truth. All right? Through the spirit of Paul Yahweh by Shemeshai, given to his prophets, who are the elders of Paul's great millstone. They're, they're plowing righteous fruit, good fruit. But you got those out there that's that's plowing uh, uh, wicked fruit, f teaching false doctrines, like teaching that the that, that the that the MOTB is, is spiritual. That's forbidden fruit. That's that's forbidden fruit. That's wicked fruit. You're pl you're planting unrighteous fruit. That's plowing, that's what plowing is. You got people taking on to that and believing in that. That's false doctrine. This Hosea, going back to Hosea, Hosea 10 and 13, it says, ye have plowed wickedness. So when you plow something, you plant in it. If you're taking on false doctrines and philosophies, that's plowing wickedness. It says, ye have plowed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity, ye have eaten the fruit of lies. And that's what our people do on a daily basis. They take on the fruits of lies. You go to church on Sunday, you take taking on the fruit of lies. That's false doctrine. You're plowing wickedness. You're plowing unrighteous fruit. It says, because thou didst trust in thy way in the multitude of the all. Oh, it says, 
in the multitude of thy mighty men. So you trusted in the philosophies and the lies, right? You trusted in the philosophies and the lies. They took on the philosophies. So it says, ye have eaten the fruit of lies. They took on the philosophies. When you read Genesis 3 and 1 and you read down to 6, that's that fruit that she took on in the garden was lies, philosophies. It's in the scriptures. Hosea 10 and 13 shows that, proves that. She took on the philosophies, man. Galatians 6 and 7. It says, be not deceived, for the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, right? Let's look up soweth, right? Soweth. A man soweth. It says third person singular simple. It says present indicated form of sow, right? And what the meaning of sow is. Let's just go back. So plant. It says plant seed by scattering it on or in the earth. Scatter, right? Plant the seeds of planting something. So when you sow something, you're planting it. So they planted lies. They planted unrighteous fruits, false doctrines, lies. All right. This is Galatians 6 and 7. It says, Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, he shall also reap. So they plowed wickedness. So now they reaped wickedness. They planted wickedness. They forbid, they, they uh, brought forth unrighteous fruit, right? They, they, uh, they planted unrighteous fruit, right? They plowed unrighteous fruit. Now they got to reap the benefits to that, which is wickedness. That's what they planted because they took on the philosophies. They sowed wickedness. They planted wickedness. They plowed wickedness. Now they reap wickedness. Same thing. This is why you got to know, understand the scriptures. What is being said, man? This is Job 4 and 8. It says, even as I have seen they, seen they that plow iniquity and sowed wickedness reap the same. And that's what Adam and Eve did. That's what Adam did. Because Eve gave him the, the lies, the philosophies. He took on and ate all the philosophies. So now they, they reaped the same they reaped the wickedness they sold wickedness and they reaped it that's why the lord uh, banned them out of the garden of eden because they took on the philosophies this is matthew 7 and 16 it says ye shall know them by their fruits right and this is what the elders pass great notes don't say all the time when you look at iuic isupk all these other israel guy groups that's teaching false doctrine you gotta you gotta look at them by their fruits and they're bringing out what wicked fruit they plowing wickedness right they're plowing wickedness. They're plowing forbidden fruit. That's what they're plowing. All right? It says Matthew 7 and 16. I have to use them as an example because they are. They're plowing uh, 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 forbidden fruit. They're going off on the scriptures. If you're going off on the scriptures, you're plowing, you're plowing forbidden fruit. That's what you're, you're, you're plowing forbidden fruit, man. All right? If you're teaching false doctrine, you're plowing uh, forbidden fruit. Just to give an example for those that don't understand. Matthew 7 and 16, ye shall know them by their fruits. See? The elders and apostles of Great Millstone, righteous fruit. Dudes that's teaching false doctrines and teaching we're already in the new covenant already. Forbidden fruit, wickedness, unrighteous fruit. They're going to be destroyed for that. It says, ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? And that's the thing. The philosophies. Adam and Eve took on those philosophies, man. That's what messed them up. They took on the philosophies. You know, because the scriptures even say he was the beginning of sin. The sin sin was the beginning of woman. Was a woman. He was the beginning of sin. So the beginning of sin was of a woman. Saying a woman bashing video, but it's the truth. You know, that cuts that uh because you got people that say woman is God bullshit. How could woman be God when they were the beginning of sin? Eve was the beginning of sin. She's the mother of all. She was the beginning of sin. So women is a woman was the beginning of sin. That's in the scriptures. Matter of fact, I'll get that out. It's always good to edify real quick. Woman was the beginning of sin. This is Sirach 25 and 24. It says, of the woman, of the woman... It says, of the woman came the beginning of sin. So see, of the woman became the beginning of sin, man. All right? The woman was the beginning of sin. Jake and his madness. The woman was the beginning of sin. This is X, This is a rock 25, 24. It says, of the woman came the beginning of sin. See, of the woman came the beginning of sin, which was Eve. 
she was beguiled by the serpent, and then she came with the philosophies and gave it on to Adam. All right? It says, of the woman was the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. So there you go. The woman was the beginning of sin. Matthew 7 and 17. It says, even so, every good tree, right, bringeth good fruit, but every good, every corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And didn't I just say that? You got, the, you got the men of the Lord that bring good fruit, who are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And you got other groups outside of Great Millstone that teaches a different doctrine. They're bringing forth corrupt fruit, wicked fruit, unrighteous fruit. And they're going to be destroyed for doing that. And that's them. They, the Adam and Eve took on the corrupt fruit. It says, even so, every good tree, remember the trees meaning the men, bringeth forth good fruit. Which are the prophets, the, the men that had 100% truth, just giving an example. Right? But a corrupt tree, meaning men, right, bringing forth evil fruit. And that's what you see right now. They bring forth evil fruit. They're teaching that the MOTB is spiritual. The MOT, there's many different forms of the MOTB. You're teaching corrupt fruit, and you're going to be destroyed for doing that. You know, but this is the, that's a whole different topic. Topic, But the trees was meaning men. So the, Adam and Eve, Eve took on the philosophies of men. All right? So let's read that. Uh, I want to go back to that Genesis... Um, that Genesis 3 and 6. It's Genesis 3 and 6. So again, when you read Genesis chapter chapter 3 and you read verse 1 all the way to 6, that was talking about Eve being beguiled by the serpent, which was a man, and he she took on the philosophies. This is Genesis 3 and 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for fruit, for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. And it was the philosophies. She took on the philosophies and she gave it unto Adam. Adam took on those philosophies. All right. So Adam and Eve, they didn't eat a pear. They didn't eat an apple. It wasn't no grape. It wasn't no damn plum. It was the philosophies, the lies. So Lord, one this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Yahweh and double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahushai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And the Lord won this lesson was edifying to next time I say shalom. So again, Adam and Eve did not bite no fucking apple. It was the philosophies. They took on the, 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 the lies. All right. Shalom.